Earlier today, Senator Susan Collins and Senator Joe Manchin, a Republican and Democrat, announced that they were going to vote for Kavanaugh, leading most people, including myself, to believe that he has enough votes to secure his confirmation by the Senate. And as I speak, uh, Senator Whitehouse is talking. Uh, but, you know, I, I find this whole thing very, like, what gets me is that it's been conflicting because, as I said before, when, when these allegations came out, I wanted, um, I leaned toward believing Kavanaugh because of the my negative view of the Me Too thing. But even then, when people broke down um, certain parts of his own reaction to it, 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 it started making it to where I lined up more with the accusations. So, for example, um, I believe it was Feinstein who asked him if he wanted a, an investigation and he wouldn't say yes, uh, but just kept bringing up that he had had six investigations. And what what's frustrating is that because the one that was done uh, or started by Trump last Friday then is on Wednesday was a half measure uh, where they didn't even speak to Kavanaugh or the or uh, Dr. Ford. You're going to have people who will say, "Oh, uh, they did the seventh one. They didn't find. Anything. They did the seventh one. They didn't find anything." But I think it's funny because. You um, you have a lot of people who are upset with Republicans for voting for him in spite of the fact that these allegations are, um, you know, whether they believe them to be credible or not. But my entire thing, problem, has always been ideological. Um, you know, people were talking about Roe versus Wade, 71% of people support that. Then you also have the... Um, Citizens United stance that I think he has, which is let let politicians keep getting bribed and uh, donors sticking large bills in their pockets to do whatever they want. That that's my my largest issue with him, um, and it's it's really frustrating because it's conflicting with me believing that there should be attention brought to the the charges and also um, Roe versus Wade. But it's this thing where because there's so much focus on those two particular things. Everything else gets tossed out. Um, and so at this point, I, I can only say that the only character from this uh, affair that was kind of surprising was Murkowski. Uh, but then she kind of annoyed me when she said she's going to vote present to, for this other senator who's going to his daughter's wedding over the weekend um, to not influence the outcome of the vote. When you would think if you're one of the few, if you're the only Republican that's going to flip over, I would think you would want to, um, you know, have something to do with influencing it. It's just, it goes back to that thing where the Republicans and Democrats cave into conservative ideas and, and viewpoints, but you can never get a Republican to, to entirely cross over to the other side ever. Um, a lot of people were saying, oh, Flake who did such a great thing ordering the FBI investigation, that the investigation is mealy mouth. Uh, and he, his response is, well, I don't see anything that's in there that I would be opposed to. Just all over, it's, it's bad. And I, I really hate the fact that we have people who want to keep pretending that um, the only reason you would be opposed to Kavanaugh is because of the allegations. Um, as I said before, we live in an oligarchy, and these, these judges um, try in a similar manner to the politicians to financially benefit from being in a position of power. And so when he gets in there after the morrow, when they vote to confirm him, he is going to take the same bribes, take the same donations and make sure that the politicians um, can also do the same thing. And that's, that's a topic that not enough people are speaking about. I heard Bernie, when he gave his speech on this kind of, he mentioned it, but, I just don't understand why we can't get more individuals to understand this concept. Um, and, it's a, and again, it's a difficult balancing act because it's it's a thing of there are so many... When you have this lifetime appointment, you have to factor in the parts where you uh, diffuse the talking points that people make about why we should have that person and then also go policy by policy. That's when it gets a lot more um, complicated than just, did he do it or not? So, well, yeah, he... Okay, let's pretend he didn't do it. Um, still sucks on all the policies. Uh, you know, a lot of people who are supporting him um, are not supporting him because, oh, I need my conservative judge. They're, they're tired of 
the allegations being made by people um, decades after the fact, and they want this. They want this to be part of that same kind of campaign of saying "screw you" to whoever is coming forward and trying to um, come up or say something about a person that is also male. And I think that's dangerous because while I get you know feeling discontent with all these charges, I by ideology he's not a good choice. Um, and I just wish more people would realize that. But we're going to get stuck with him for 30 plus years unless something happens, which I don't think anything will. So into the toilet we go.